Well, a good day to you. Today's project back on the YXZ. Now, since purchasing the YXZ, I've come to realize two irrefutable truths. One, it's a lot of fun to drive. And that's why I stayed with it instead of going with an X3 or a Polaris or something like that, which jumped better. And secondly, it tends to get beat by everything. Today we're going to try to remedy that by bolting on 25 extra horsepower. Stay tuned. Now I know all you guys have seen this hundred times already tons of videos out there but for me i'm going to go ahead and unbox this and enjoy it i ended up going with the team alba racing silent but deadly kit and from what i've read there's been a lot of good reviews on this particular kit i'm going to give it a shot let's open it up and see what we got comes with the airbox spacer i guess this is the plastic one now from what i've heard this is the absolute most difficult part of this install and not looking forward to it. Comes with a seal and the longer bolts. So this is my ECU that I have already sent in and they sent it back in the package. Now a couple things I understand with the flash on this obviously uh, it takes away Yamaha's lean maps. It richens things up a little bit. It also increases the rev limiter by, I believe, a thousand RPM. And I believe it also changes the fan temperature. The fan will come on at 195 instead of 207 or 208, which it does now. Next, they give you an exhaust tip and spark arrestor. Like I said, you guys have probably seen this a thousand times on here, but the opening on this is quite a bit larger than the stock opening. And also the back part of this is free flowing straight through, which the stock one has a can on the back and the exhaust has to come in, go around backwards and come back out. So this adds quite a bit of power right here, opening up the exhaust. And lastly, but not leastly, comes with a new header. This thing's beautiful. I'm super excited. Let's go get this stuff installed. As you can see the exhaust hits here it has to go like make a 180 degree turn back inside and come out this little tiny hole there's your size difference of the amount of air that this exhaust will flow i'm curious to hear what it'll sound like with no baffle yeah that's very very loud All right, tips in. Let's see what it sounds like if you did not do the header update. Just a tip. Maybe difficult to hear in the video. 
Doesn't really sound any louder. It just sounds a little deeper, throatier. Well, now you know we gotta listen to what this thing sounds like with no exhaust on it at all. Just as I expected, not good. This new header is much heavier. So you're probably gonna lose one horsepower there. So this here is the air box, the back side of the air box. And it's very, very tight to the frame already. That's why they say these things are such a pain. That's about as much room as you're going to get. Quarter inch set, long extension, 5 16 or 8 millimeter, not too difficult. So here's your spacer, kind of snaps in there. Now I know because this actually spaces this out, this middle hole is no longer needed. So I believe there's a nut and a bolt in here to block that off. There's your longer bolts, you can see difference there. Well, with everything out of the way, that was not too bad. Let me get the one screw started here. This was the part I was most worried about because this is the complaint that everybody has is that these are extremely difficult. Clearance between the frame rail and the outer airbox cover due to the spacer is extremely tight, difficult to get at. But I think if you take all of this stuff off, which takes an extra five or 10 minutes, if that makes this super simple, this job is not difficult at all. So don't let it worry you. Now I'm just gonna put it all back together as you do when you finish something. All right, now that we get everything installed, let's go ahead and listen to our final exhaust note. being honest from inside the cab it literally sounds no different it does sound a little bit deeper from back here which is exactly what I wanted I didn't really want this thing to be super loud 
and annoying. So while I can't do a full-blown test quite yet, we'll just take it for a quick ride and uh, see if I notice anything any different. Already it feels a little snappier on the throttle. We're not fully warmed up yet, but feels like she got a little more punch on the bottom end. So first impressions so far, I definitely feel a difference in power for sure. It's got a lot more punch right off the bottom. definitely picks up speed a lot faster. Uh, I can't wait to see what this thing will do in the dirt. I can't really do any hard launches on the concrete. We'll just do an acceleration test. Definitely faster. So I am impressed. I didn't really know what to think about this whole thing, but I'm definitely impressed. It was worth the money. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Throw me a thumbs up if you like this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'd certainly appreciate it. Comments, questions, throw them down below. I'll answer them for you. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.